Welcome to the Study Summary Podcast brought to you by StudySummary.com and the Study Summary Library online resource. We provide high school students and their teachers and parents all they need to help students achieve their personal best in their high school years. In this episode, we're going to look at the topic of preparing for senior studies. As many senior students prepare to leave school at the end of this year and embark on further education or a new career, a whole batch of students are preparing to join the ranks of senior students next year. As students approach the senior years, they are expected to start taking more responsibility for their own learning. For many students, part of this is a realization that they need to do their schoolwork for their own sake, to keep options open for their own future, so they start to work for themselves and not just because their teacher or parent says they have to. Other students come to realize that in order to cope with the increased workload in the senior years, they need to work more efficiently at home and in the classroom. Small changes like changing who students sit next to can make a big difference to how much work is completed in a class. So for students who are commencing in their senior years, The final term this year is important in taking stock of your approach to school and your studies. Do you work well in the classroom? Who do you sit next to? What are your listening and research skills like? Do you have systems in place to manage your homework and assignments? Do you know how to study effectively and have you tried different study techniques? It seems that many students think that they will wake up one day or they one of their senior studies and suddenly have become a super student overnight. So this does not happen. Habits take at least a month to change and sometimes longer if they are deeply ingrained. So for those students commencing their senior studies next year, use these last weeks of school this year to reflect on how you approach your studies. What do you do well and what do you need to work on changing? Perhaps choose the top five areas to work on and write these on a card and place it somewhere at home where you will see it regularly and be reminded. You can also watch as many videos as you can on StudySamurai.com. This site can help you work out where your areas of weakness are and teach you new skills to try in these areas. In particular, you can click on the Study Skills Handbook link and do the unit Becoming a Senior Student. There is a great quiz in this unit that helps you see how ready you are for senior studies. This is also a great way to work out where your areas of weakness lie. So you can learn more and find grids and planners to help you at studysummary.com. So that's all for today's episode in the Study Summary podcast. You can go to studysummary.com for more episodes and resources, including a free presentation and more information about how your school can subscribe to the online Study Summary library.